Keeley. We are getting ready for EA Play live. In uh, 10 minutes, we'll be live with our pre-show as we count down to the big event at the top of the hour. Uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. Here we go. Hey, guys. Hello. Everybody, and it's now Sonic Moon. Welcome back to, welcome to another live reactions. Welcome to another live reaction stream. Yeah. Ah, look at him. That host. That's loud. Yeah, that's just clearly in the background, of course. Wasn't sure if I was gonna watch the pre uh, pre show or whatever. I just want to see you play. Like, here we go. About to start in eight minutes, as you see here. God, it's loud on my end. I want to turn it down a bit. Yeah, thanks for those hosts, Link and M and Lady Death. Yeah, it's like, hello everybody, I'm so sorry, and welcome to another live reaction stream. I didn't really do that. Try to fix a little cute sense. Yep, there we go. You yeah, play. Yeah, check out you yeah, play, you know, reaction to you yeah, play. So, yeah. Waiting for eight minutes. It was already like trying to get ready at 5.30. Yeah, alright. Hmm. Hey, Nasty Gamer, thanks for that host. Ah, uh, like, ah! Uh. Hey! Thanks for that host, Nasty Gamer! You was just not a host. Yeah, thank you, Lincoln, and, and Lady Death earlier for those hosts. Still seven minutes left. Like, I know there was a thing called, uh, I wasn't down here. Yeah, I'm down here. This is stuff that's already happened. Recap. I didn't see Destiny 2. Maybe I'll see it sometime later. I know I saw this, 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 this. I did not see that, apparently. I could probably go back and see that some later point, I guess. But yeah. I know there was also something called the... Uh... Is it not here? Oh, I guess it's not here anymore. How odd. There's like a Star Wars thing in here. I guess it's not here anymore. Yeah, the, the, star, the trailer for Star Wars or whatever. I didn't see that. I don't know. But they'll probably show it again here at EA Play anyways. Yeah, there's a little trailer for Star Wars. It's, well, something trailer over a new Star Wars Squadron thing, if I said it right. Didn't see it. But probably see it in EA Play. Who knows? I may go back and re-watch, try and watch this thing because I didn't see it. But react to it so six minutes left until the game play starts yeah it's kind of different hard to keep up with with all these digital events since they're not really press conferences you know since e3 is canceled in 2020 this year it just had this summer games fest thing instead that's all it is now pretty much yeah the volume turned down low because i don't want to you know or I can just mute the desktop to music playing in the background. Six minutes left waiting. Yeah, I was just trying to get ready and such with the stream and everything. Thank you guys for being there and such. Yeah, another live reaction stream. Not, not sure what to expect with what I could see. Yeah, that's why Discord I was just looking at for a sec. Seeing me going live in the, inside the Discord. You could... You can join that if you want. It's up to you guys if you want to join the Discord. Oops, why did I just do that? Excuse me. Don't need to show that. <laughs> Clicked on that. Don't, you got all those tabs open, so I should clear out some attempts. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm ready now. You know, you can see that stuff back there in the score pot. OBS. Yeah. Alright, let's... Just trying to make sure I had everything ready when I was trying to get started up. Still have a bit more time to try and get ready. But yeah. Notice there's something for Pokemon. I'll have to react to that later on. Link in them showed me in the Discord. Ah! <laughs> hey! Thanks for that host. Alien Lail. How you doing, Alien Lail? Thanks for hosting. Five minutes until EA Play. Just wanted to check out EA Play since there's no E3 this year, of course. And it's like, oh, hey. Oh, you're just waving. Hey, hey there. Hey, Alien Wolf. Prof went off the line, so you're hosting now. Oh, you did. All right. You starts at two. 
I'm surprised I wasn't around to actually see them streaming today. Oops. Yeah. Just wanted to see what they have in EA Play. They, they showed the Star Wars, like, Squadron thing trailer or whatever earlier before EA Play, but I'll probably see that here in EA Play, of course. So, I didn't see that when they showed it earlier. But, whatever. Here we go. Let me see this. Yeah. Starts at 6 o'clock, because there's 4 minutes left. You know, it's 5... 5.39 p.m. just waiting for this countdown to you know, play digital event. I mean, they don't exactly do press conferences, do they? You know, play hasn't done a press conference last year, did they? In E3 2019. Yes, yeah, it's only alternative to Summer Games Fest since it's hard to find or see any. God damn it! Ah! Thanks to that host next to me. Man, all you guys hosting. Next to those auto hosts. God, I feel like I want to turn off the alerts for auto hosts and leave the alerts only on for actual hosts. Can't seem to figure that out. You would tell there's a, there's a checkbox. I uncheck it. So it says turn off like auto hosts. No, turn off alerts for auto hosts. So I uncheck the checkbox so it doesn't happen. It still happens. You don't seem to turn it off or do anything about it. I guess it's broken. I guess it's broken and they're just going to go off whether it's an actual host or an auto host anyway. The alerts. I'm trying to turn off the alerts for auto hosts. But whatever. Because they're off on Twitch. Why are they not off on Mixer? I don't know. Weird. Yeah. Still waiting. Oh, it's only been like 11 minutes. Well, since I started streaming. Not like, it's only two minutes into this, waiting. It's about to start after two minutes now. Yeah. Let me just mute this, turn it down. I don't want to pick that up. There we go, never mind. My mask. My mother comes in with my mask for work tomorrow. I don't know wear a mask just to go to work. It's ridiculous. It'll be all over eventually. Nothing lasts forever. This whole thing going on in the world. It's like I don't even want to talk about it. I don't talk about politics and stuff like that. Just stuff's annoying to me. Never liked any of it. It's like everything about politics I don't like 100%. It's standard, but whatever. You play one minutes left to tell you play. Of course, it, it's not really a. I guess it's like a digital event this year. Everyone's doing digital events. Because no one's really actually doing press conferences, even though know, E3 is not around this year. One minute left. What else will they show? Like, well, I'm sure they'll show stuff about Apex Legends, of course. Some stuff about Star Wars. Like, they already revealed a trailer over Star Wars Squadron thing. Then there's a... What, FIFA, I bet? Any, like, War and Warfare or whatever thing? In a minute now. 53, 2, 1. Yep, there's... There's... Thanks for the that's Jeff Keighley. Four seconds. Talking. Yeah, I'm not sure I was gonna watch this on like Twitch or just watch it from the Summer Games Fest. That uh, is, Jeff Kaylee is the one hosting this whole Summer Games Fest thing. I'm, I'm trying to re react to this EA play. It's like I just want to react to EA play, not to a pre show or post show from Jeff Kaylee. And I thought, man, why not? Just see what they. I would kind of put the throw out there and such. But, yeah, that's kind of what happened with the Sony press conference. They wasn't expecting to just re see a pre-show before the actual PS5 press conference thing. But, anyway, here we go. Now comes the fun part. There it is. Oh, so this is the ad thing. I haven't seen the Halo thing. I mean, the Microsoft thing. Was there even a Microsoft one? I guess that happened in May, and I never saw it. Digital news, in-game events, cyberpunk. Uh, 
We will call them Zeus. It's a Hulk. And more. From the coffee room, Hulk. Ah! What's that guy's name again? How can I say it? Don't. How can I say it? I can't remember that guy's name. He's in Cyberpunk. Of course I know the guy's name. I guess I'm bringing up. Summer Games Fest. Play in the future. May, August. May to August 2020. That's your alternative to E3 because there's no E3 this Hello, year. Everybody. Oh, it's there he is. Hello. Fest. It is EA Hello. Jeff Kaylee. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I am here in our EA Summer Play. Let's see some EA Play. Uh, have you got a cat? I show. used to have. Well, I do have a cat. My other cat's just like passed away. away from its yeah, it sucks. Um, well, what happened? Great stuff from EA today. Hopefully, instant happened. So my cat new boat, uh, a birdie, kind of passed away or something. So year, instant. Uh, pretty much everything this That's for how I would explain it right now at the moment. But I still have my other cat. I had two, and I just have one again now. That happens. Life, you know, you just gotta live what you can. Presentation, I think, is going to last uh, a little under an hour, based on what I'm hearing. Presentation's going to last about an hour. Yeah. Normal, right. Stream it and watch it with you guys. This is today. quiet, isn't it? Um, so I can barely hear him talking. Let's uh, talk a bit about what we're there expecting from EA today. What we know. Yeah, that's what um, I was just talking about before we started. Is, uh, what Star is to expect? Back yep. On Star Wars Squadron. The trailer for that. We're gonna look at that actually. In a mm -hmm. here. Didn't see the trailer. Be, uh, there was a Who showcased it earlier? Monday, this guy. Sometimes we, we just want to see gameplay. Uh, we are going to see gameplay of that game today. So gonna, they're going to show gameplay of it. That's game, nice. Uh, based on the, the information that's been released so I've got to see it. I haven't seen the trailer. Game. Could have. Like action game probably is more accurate. Uh, something that I, I think we all have wanted. We all remember, hmm. you know, Rogue Squadron and even back in the day. Mm. I barely played uh, most of the Star Wars games, games, but I'm not saying they're not fun. Like sure, they're fun. I've played some, but, um, but not every one. Mm. I, uh, I kind of like Star Wars. Uh, I don't know. I just didn't really kind of play them. Yeah. It's, uh, it's going to yeah. be current gen machines, at least that's what they've announced so far. There's going to be a VR component and it's only Virtual reality. Uh, 39 mm. uh, or 40. And Star Wars. In the US and <laughs> said, uh, to see Star Wars with virtual reality. Dang, with lightsabers and all that. So or flag with big, dog fights the with the gameplay of that title uh tie fires were they called forgot x wings run the uh the trailer star wars, star wars squadrons uh, yeah let's take a look at that for a couple minutes and we will be talking about the trailer of course here we go oh that's the trailer right there whoa that's loud ah, what the heck this is the trailer ah, hey, thanks for that host what the heck Two of distractions, couldn't see what was going on here. Two of distractions going on. Hey, on, kid. Thanks for hosting. What is this? Is it dog fighting? Ah, it's like CGI, like, or whatever the word is I'm looking for. Isn't that what this is? Computer generated? Computer generated. That's what CGI means. That's a s TIE Fighter. That was a trailer. This is the trailer. I didn't see this earlier. This is the trailer they were talking about. Thanks for that host, Haunted. So much went on there. Like, whoa, what the heck? Distraction. Uh oh. Ah, it's like dog fights. Kind of had dog fights in previous uh, Star Wars games. Wow! What the hell? I'm the perfect shot. Uh oh. Ah, did, he, did he just suicide bomb into that thing? I mean, she or she just blew it up. Five squadron. Five pilots. One squadron. The galaxy. Whatever you said. Hey. This is pretty new. Yeah, so it's like dogfights. I think that's what I've heard. Dogfighting in Star Wars. Because we did kind of do that in, in a Star Wars game on the GameCube I played once. Star Wars Squadrons. That's pretty new. Well, that, is Star Wars so that was the trailer. In engine teasers, then in process. In engine teaser. We'll see uh, the first gameplay of that. Kind of uh, quiet. Today, uh, I'm talking. This is my headphones. 
again. Yeah, I got some new headphones. Stuff using frostbite, but uh, we will now we're gonna hear it better. Gameplay mission. I think I'm pretty confident yeah, we'll that today. Um, as part of oh, EA Play. Look at that. Uh, and it is coming out, as I mentioned, in October. I played so, an old uh, Star Wars game on the GameCube uh, once. Just moved in November. That kind of, that that this is what that kind of looks like. Squadron uh, thing. Uh, but this game is coming out in October. So, 5 vs. 5. Show that at, uh, what, is it in the form of MOBA? A MOBA? Is there 5 vs. 5? Um, nah. In terms of other stuff that <laughs> we're going to hear from EA, no. uh, it's dog fighting. know that my... My right. good buddy Joseph Ferres from Hayes hmm. Light uh, is going to uh, show a teaser trailer for his next game. Um, Could that be? Joseph, you probably remember, had a had, a, had a, a fun encounter with me at the Game Awards a couple of years ago when he expressed his feelings. About, I have two, uh, well, I have two cats. I just have one now. Um, the one passed away. Game. Brothers was the first game. The asked me that question Incredible earlier. Um, I don't know if you guys have played it or not, but it was a phenomenal game. Um, back in the hmm. day, so if you can access it somewhere on PC or something, make sure to check it Hello, out. No we need a way out um, that we announced actually at the first ever Game Awards in 2014. Uh, Joseph has an exciting new game. Um, I won't spoil anything, but um, hmm. I, I know a bit about it, and I actually visited him last summer in uh, Stockholm when he was working on it. And, well, it, and I think mm -hmm. it's really... Uh, oh. I don't know what they're going to show today, but um, I'm excited about that. So, um, either. That's why I'm here. Reaction. Game, part of EA's Originals program. Um, Beyond that, EA has really shown a lot about what we're going to see today. Mm. Of course, we'll probably expect a little bit on the sports front. Um, we saw sports. Us, uh, an early look at yep. Madden um, back at the... Uh, the That's what I was thinking of. They were probably going to do that. Madden this week as well, so we can Trailer. Madden. Um, or that. FIFA, we haven't heard much on so far, but I would imagine we'll start to hear uh, yep, FIFA probably. this summer, since that usually comes out in the fall. And then beyond that... Uh. Um, you know, in the kind of fall. wondering what, what will EA have to share? Will hmm. they have new game announcements? Will they talk about next gen? Um, what will we hear from the guys at Bioware um, that we announced hmm. uh, Dragon Age a couple of years ago at um, the Game Awards, which is something that Dragon uh, Age. everyone was excited about. I remember that. Game. What's that next game going to be there? So that's another one hmm. that uh, hopefully we'll hear something about in the uh, in the coming um, mm -hmm. you know months, if not uh, today. And then beyond that, Open question mark. Uh, EA has hmm. uh, said that they uh, also have, um, you know, Need for Speed uh, that was announced. Uh, Ooh, first ago. Criterion's going to be I've played some of that in the past. Speed. I don't know if that means a new game we'll hear about today huh. um, or whatnot, but it's kind of an open question mark um, what hmm. EA is doing for next gen. So we'll, we'll hope oh, we'll next about that and... um, today when the event starts in about 10 minutes. And we're going to do minutes. kind of like a full-on... Um, it's almost 6 o'clock. Like ...co-stream, uh, which is something that... Uh, it's kind of fun for me because normally I'm in one of these studios trying to uh, you know, put together uh, one of these live shows. And I don't want really to watch this stuff with you guys live. So the idea here is that we are going to be able to get to to watch this live with all you guys um, as we uh, kind of try to see it. what EA has in store for us. Um, like I don't want to see double where he's watching. Like I want to. The show, so we're excited to sort of see what, I don't know. Uh, we have to uh, jump over the Twitch and see this. And Look, part of what I think That'd everyone is kind of wondering is how how is EA going to present their games mm. this year? Uh, everything mm -hmm. is, you know, we're in a work from home situation. Even a lot I'm of these studios that. are working from home. Wondering and that. that presents a lot of challenges. They can't do a live event like they normally do at the Palladium here in mm -hmm. Los Angeles. But I also think people are kind of curious there's no wondering how is EA going to present there's their that. games when all these studios are in, uh, you know, kind of different... Uh, quarantine situation mm -hmm. so that's something that hopefully we'll yeah, hear a little bit more much. from um the guys at ea today as we sort of you know look through what their their overall kind of plan is for um this year but we know yeah. we'll see star wars we'll probably see some sports stuff we'll see some ea originals uh you know there's obviously other parts of ea as well there's mobile and sims and and, and all those yeah. and i think one of the things I think so. I wonder about ea is it did say so much, but yeah. Um, mm. It's a big company that has a whole bunch of different pieces, and yet, obviously, the core audience has certain games that they are Still five, very please. excited about. You want to see Sims 5? Maybe. Um, but Maybe. lots of other stuff that they like Sims. For, uh, for EA. So, I don't think I've played Sims in the past. It's one of those things that we're just going to have to kind of wait and see Bonjour. how EA presents things. Hello there, things, chat Todd. Uh, what the response is. Tim Zoo. And um, sort of build off of that. So, Sims we are going to watch it live oh. together. 
Um, we've got the countdown clock up here. It looks like it's going to be uh, just over nine minutes. Oh, is this how he's going to watch it? I have no idea. Because, like, gonna start, hold on. Where they're gonna end. Um, this is weird. Holy oh, crap. That, it's like a reaction video inside a reaction video. Shoot. Oh, he's kind of. That's how he's kind of streaming. I guess I'm kind of streaming him, kind of streaming it. It's like some new news. That was. That's why I wasn't sure of doing it like this. Some other stuff that. Yeah, there's that down there. I know Inception. That's weird. I guess I'm reacting to someone else reacting to something. Because I was just gonna watch the new play, not watching the one with them like this. Wow, like I wasn't planning on doing it like this. I don't know what to expect. Yeah, eight minutes left. Like I can go over straight to you play and stop watching it from here. If I wanted to, I could. It's kind of funny. Um, it happening like really this. Hard right now, it's right? alright. Emotionally, um, I can still watch the new play even though know, he's watching it too. I don't see him and, watch it. You know, they're working on Jeff Kaylee. Games and they have to try and get next gen development kits. Um, like so I could just watch just EA alone and not not from Summer Games Fest, but watch it from like um, Twitch so or it's, something. It's kind of a challenging time right now. To but make yeah, I guess it's fine. It's kind of odd. I've never seen a reaction video inside a reaction video before it's not to, well it's, he's not uh, reacting he's uh, just posting and i guess that's uh, kind of what i'm doing also but yeah pretty much and yeah watch kind of, together yeah. and commentate on not kind of but yeah reading the chat and seeing what he's you kind of he's uh, gonna be commentating um maybe outside Shoot. of ea i'll talk a little bit about what we have coming up uh for summer game fest um over mm. the next little while they also, just go over the EA and leave, leave from the here. I don't know. August, no, it's, more it's fine, I guess. Um, we have on Monday, we mm -hmm. have our first developer okay. showcase that we're doing in partnership with IM8 Bit and Dave. It's unusual. Uh, we've got some really awesome uh, indie titles that we'll be showcasing inside of that. Indie um, titles on um, EA. Kicking things off with a pretty awesome game announcement that you will not want to miss on uh, Monday morning. Because um, I don't do, I, I like, these, we react uh, there or co-streaming to something like this. Like this. Like the way he's doing it. The webcam in the corner or something like you see what's all focused on screen. I do it like this, special, like you see on my uh, end. That's how I do it. To, uh, over yeah. the next few days, most which is be most people do so, it like uh, what we'll he's do doing. And then next week, uh, there's the Cyberpunk. Um, Cyberpunk. Uh, City Wire, yeah. they're calling it their stream that will be happening uh, on the 25th. Uh, as you oh, know, that's on the 25th. Today, uh, that game is delayed and now coming out November. June 25th? Awesome, hmm. I think it was... Uh, Keep delaying that game, jeez. Why have you waited to even play live to begin? Got to joining our people online by donating to one of those other organizations. Oh, thanks for the business. So I'm excited I'll be definitely checking that out, and we'll be doing a post show for that to talk about everything for Cyberpunk. So look forward to that mm. um, next week uh, Marvel's Avengers also has an event uh, mm -hmm. or table where they're going to be showing a bunch your of sister wants um, so it's fine that, uh, game, yeah uh, I remember that game really in depth with Avengers so they call it Sims kind of isn't it Sims for for simulator you can check out with Marvel's mm. Avengers and also uh, no. Cyberpunk and not sure for showcase on Monday um, there's also I think some I on Monday Plus Expo there's bit some there are a bunch of other events um, and one of the things this year is we're seeing some game companies that is inception reacting within a reaction like titles. this is not uh, what i was planning on doing or intentionally trying to do it this is just um, apparently so how things are turning on or happening because no setting was going to go straight studios and the, the well, real i guess me reacting to something is pretty uh, much what a coaster is uh, so a coaster is kind of reacting to it to it commentating over it now I'm hearing him commentating over what I was going to commentate over then, myself. Uh, you know what I mean? But yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, play Sims 4 every, every day. Uh, That's nice. Yeah. Well, it's fine. Live that I did last year. We had a bunch yep. of EA stuff in that. Um, Just listen to him talk right now while we uh, wait. And we will be doing a big Gamescom ONL. Like I said, we were planning on doing it like this. Don't know how things were going to turn out. 
and but, we're gonna have some yeah really and this awesome is where it's held it's held through some of these fast and where else am i supposed to really see really this show, could uh, just watch this straight from twitch so, where i don't so, hear um, jeff kaylee or see jeff kaylee on screen that's where i just see from twitch but a, a real big wrap either way of, uh, summer, and it's fine daily show from gamescom after that just hope like well you do things like posters or reaction videos you're bound to get what's called a content i glue declaim or whatever it's like you can't avo really avoid that but i don't try to i'm not trying to gain anything or whatever from reaction videos or react my reaction streams nah, i'm just doing this because i enjoy doing it something i do off the side from what i really do on my channel my niece which is over seasonal events yeah that's what i do on my channel or youtube yeah aside from i'm streaming pretty much just Steam Game Steam Festival. Check things out. You just mentioned a lot of their games now available on Steam. I saw today Titan mm -hmm. 2, I think, is finally on Steam, which is great. Um, what? Man and Conquer Remaster, which was like one of my favorite games back in mm. the, the 90s. Um, that's available. Mm, nice. So uh, there's lots of playable stuff on the Steam Game Festival. Yeah. It continues on through the weekend um, with over 900 different games that you can download and try. Um, and that's something huh. I'm really passionate about the idea of playable it's funny. content on gaming platforms. I'm watching some of those co stream something that's like I'm co streaming. Xbox will also have their own festival of details. I've been planning for that. I think maybe okay. this week we'll start to talk a bit about that. And, All right, uh, then. I just want to see what you guys play with. That's why I'm here uh, reacting to it. This year is we wanted these digital events, but we also wanted to find ways for you guys to actually play games at home. Um, which I think is so important since we're all actually more like often than not actually in my very uh, very so first reaction that, video um, have, I used to do it like the way uh, he's doing it summer, put your webcam like in the bottom corner or in some corner some of the screen while well, you have what's all and focused on the whole screen I know it which is what you're like reacting to like how he has the webcam and everything months, so that's kind of how i used to do in the very but first I think first reaction summer, video i did and the wow, second one i do it like you see me do it right here right now just off to the side here this box with me on the side here that's how i do it now but yeah five weeks ago that we we did that so it's, like that, um, yeah. it's fun but this Do is kind of the, this is is sort of the last of the i think traditional kind of e3 style events um mm -hmm. soft doing one in in july um but this, this is one of the last EA ones event that we normally see in and around the there was a microsoft period, one wasn't there um, i didn't so see it this, i found out it was in may but start it's show. hard to keep um, up and I'm keep gonna, track of what's I'm even happening this year when there's no e3 like, you know that's why i didn't see the microsoft one talk over that but, yeah maybe i'll talk a little bit but i just want to kind of experience it like you guys do because he's gonna talk over that's what i was gonna do i was gonna talk over it commentary funny so that's what we're gonna do um I'm gonna watch it that's what i'm doing around, weird it's I funny around sort of 45 oh, minutes or a little bit longer so um we'll see it's i think under an hour so we'll watch it all together this was not we'll intentional I wasn't was planning or trying to do this a, we don't have any developers or anything on a post show today um we're just kind hmm. of reacting live so uh he's reacting that's what i'm doing EA play 2020 so weird. drop in what you Minute think left would be the big surprise you want to see from me I definitely think they're going to have some surprises left for all of us yeah um, what surprises so would they have from ea play um get ready to kind of watch mm -hmm. it here and we will see what EA has in store for us live. Yep, yeah, um, here we go. Right here on the. Let's official see what they stream. have. Not official, I guess it's just me. His coaster. It was mine within one. It was anyway, inception. It. Wasn't intentionally planning or trying to do that. Get ready. Here we go. Eight, play. Nine, 2020. Eight, 10 seven, seconds away. Six, five, four, three, audio, two, one. Yay, yeah, here we go. This is it. Let's see. It's just a bunch of trailers. Oh, snap. Oh, turning that down. Look like who may turn it down also. I was trying to adjust the audio mixer. You didn't play live. Yep. Hello and welcome Hello. everyone to EA Play 2020. We're happy that you're joining us today. Who is that guy? The next 45 minutes yeah, let's see what the webcam on the way. That's why I hit. Really I block him stuff with the webcam. And a lot of news to share. 
But before we get into the show, I'd like to take just a minute here. Mm -hmm. I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to first responders, medical staff, and essential personnel. Oh. This has certainly been a challenging year. Mm -hmm. From natural disasters yeah. like the bushfires in my home country to the devastating COVID-19 pandemic, yeah. these brave yes. heroes are working to keep us safe and healthy at every turn. Mm -hmm. I also want to thank yeah. our teams for their amazing dedication while working from home. What you've been able to achieve is nothing short of inspirational. Mm. We're also deeply thankful to all of you, our players. Even when we've had to stay physically apart, billions of you are using games to come together to play and do amazing things for each other. You've shown why this is truly the greatest form mm. of entertainment on the planet. This is also a critical time for the movement to end racism and racial injustice in this world. Black lives matter, mm. and there is much to be done to drive real and meaningful change. A couple of weeks ago, we shared some actions that Electronic Arts is taking. We will not rest on this. It's a long-term commitment. We're here for players of every color, background, religion, and personal preference. We will continue to build strong representation in our games, and we are focused on making our communities fun, mm -hmm. inclusive, and positive places to play. We also have real work to do to bring greater diversity into our company, and we are committed to doing that work. Today, we're here because of the power of games. Games bring us together, they can make our lives better, they can teach us, they can provide escape and self-expression. And most of all, games can be fun. Mm -hmm. All of us at Electronic Arts believe in that, and it's why we're excited to get up every morning to make great experiences for all of you. Mm. So thanks for being here with us. And now, let's what? get into some games. What the heck? Uh... What's up, everybody? I'm Greg Miller, and welcome to EA Play. Hello, we Greg had an Miller. incredible show in LA planned for you. Huge stage, massive setup, these giant monitors. I was going to fly in on an X-Wing. I was going to land the X-Wing on stage. I was going to set off a bunch uh, of fireworks. Then what? T-shirt cannon. Bam. Shooting out game consoles. Then Carol God. Baskin some tigers. Uh, that last part was all me. Then, uh, because of circumstances beyond our control, we had to come up with something a little different. Instead of LA, I'm in my hometown of San Francisco, mm -hmm. but we still have the Tigers. <laughs> What's that, Jane? Okay. No Tigers. So you lie. No Tigers. All right. I'm being told there are no Tigers, but whatever. Uh, We're still going to bring you the EA play you know. My gosh. Uh oh. Ah. Hey, what happened to him? He's still going. Guys, big announcements, incredible reveals, and never before seen. I can't before. hear him. Coming up over the next hour, nope. we've got game reveals. I can hear world, him. World premiere trailers of new. A look at a new way Star Wars fans can live out their greatest fantasies this year, <laughs> plus a sneak peek at the future. Oh, and pay close attention because today you can win, to win thousands something of Steam codes for more than a dozen great EA games on Steam. Throughout the show, keep an eye out for a discreetly placed gold. He's never letters. done this before. He's used to doing it live and you know, he's a journalist, right you know. Jeff Cayley. Yeah. It's all you good. Where you can enter that That's what he mentioned. For a to win free games on Steam. So don't go anywhere. Who am I kidding? None of us can leave our houses. Uh, but enough talking. Let's see some games. Up first, we're I don't blame them. That's like, I had my first experience time. doing this. Yep, all right, here we go. What the? Yeah. In fact, of course. That's sure. Really? Ah! Jeez. Hey, Apex fans, the battle just keeps getting bigger. Thanks to you, Apex Legends is coming up. It's been a while since I've played an Apex. season yet, and we're just getting started. Mm hmm. Season 4 saw more of you jumping into the fight than ever before, and you've kept that amazing momentum going forward, mm -hmm. making season 5 the biggest. And best start mm. to a season ever. Took out an enemy. Hold on to your holograms. Uh oh. Huh. We hope you've been enjoying ah. season five. I like Legend playing Vader, as that guy. Which has seen the introduction of our latest legend, Loba. Loba. A major map change to Kings Canyon. Rest in peace, Skull Town. An all new rank series and a ton of quality of life updates. Huh. But it's about to get even better. Today, okay. I'm here to tell you about what's coming next to season five with our latest collection event. Lost treasures. Season five. I think I only played since season two or three. Apex. Uh -oh. 
What the? Ow! Adventurous. Raiders. I'm not playing some of this move. Just not a whole lot. They risk everything in such a well, I have. Played it. And answers. If you find what they're looking for. <laughs> Ouch. But if they Ooh. survive, they might walk away with lost treasures. Oh no. Ooh. That's a new event. Hmm. Ah. Uh oh. Respawn. Huh. Okay. Huh. What? You got new abilities? Guns? Who needs guns? I don't need guns. My god. What the? I know what I'm looking for. Wow. I won't walk away without it. Not a treasure go Oh. Snap. Oh, that's. Yeah, of course, we'll just spend that hurt. Fortune's favor? That's Susan Va. Uh oh, really? It looks like they got new abilities in there. Yeah, it looks like they have new abilities. The Lost collection event brings with it a ton of great content. That was pretty cool. New, limited time mode, armed and dangerous, evolved. It's the return of a fan favorite, snipers and shotties only, but with a twist. Oh. Sending out my decoy. All armor is evil armor, and we're removing all of the respawn beacons across the entire map. Huh? Oh. Oh. Don't worry though, Ouch. you'll still be able to bring back your teammates with the help of a new item, the mobile oh. respawn beacon. Interesting. You'll have one hmm. of these in your inventory at the start of each match, giving you the oh. power to choose when, and more importantly, where you bring your teammates back into the battle. Oh, that's nice. That's Lost new. Treasures of course also new. introduces a new town takeover, Crypto's Map Room, oh. which gives players a closer look at what motivates this drone-wielding hacker. Of course, the Lost her. Treasures collection delivers a bunch of exclusive content you can earn by completing challenges, uh. as well as all new event exclusive cosmetic items and the introduction of your boy Mirage's heirloom, which mm -hmm. is fittingly a trophy of himself. Excited to see you all mm. in the ring. Don't uh. worry, there's plenty of me's to go around. And the best part is you don't uh. have to wait that long. My God, the Lost Treasures drops on Tuesday, June 23rd. And that's not all, Apex trophy. fans. The battle is expanding. That's right, this fall we're bringing Apex Legends to Steam. And I know you're hoping, wondering, praying, so before you ask, yeah, crossplay is coming to Apex this fall. It's been one of the biggest Yay! Yet, finally! To finally deliver it to our fans. What am finally! I oh yeah, one last thing. Let's oh make my it gosh. Official. We're huge ah! fans of Nintendo here at Respawn. Nintendo, so we're so live. excited to be bringing Apex Legends to the Switch this fall. Cool. And we'll share more details in the That's month. That's nice. So Man. that means you'll be able to squad up no matter where you and your friends prefer to Origin play. Steam. Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, or on the PC via Origin and Steam. I can or play on Steam now. The divide Does that to be on Origin? On behalf of the entire Apex That's cool. Team, we want to thank our incredible community. Your passion for the game is truly inspiring. Hmm. We look forward to seeing you all in the arena. And don't forget, check out Lost Treasures on June 23rd. I mean, I already oh, have it on. Man, that was amazing. Got it from Origin, of course. I think I'm hyper, hyper I think I'm hyper, man. I've had a really good time here. What the heck? What the heck, Mraz? <laughs> oh my god. Soul, soul, everyone. That's funny. One thing I admire Hello. about Apex Legends is Sims. its commitment to having such Look a diverse that. range of characters. At The Sims, we've always believed representation and diversity in games is critically important, perhaps now more than ever. It's difficult to put into words just how meaningful mm. it can be to see yourself reflected in the games you play. So, mm. here to tell you in their own words are a few members of our Sims community. There's Sims haunted. There's your Sims. It's a very interesting hey. It feels empowering actually and very moving it, it really taught mm. me a lot the importance of just like keeping relationships good with people it's probably like the only place where i was uh open they get to see my personality first mm. before seeing my disability i guess you could say i found mm. myself to be the only black child in my school i was discriminated i was bullied my skin tone my height and my teeth 
first realized I was trans and uh, I had I, I was like praying to God to undo it. I have this world where I can express myself and be myself. Where I come from, who I am, the color of my skin, you know, who I'm attracted to, let any of that get in the way. It was, it was no barriers. No matter where I was or what I was going through, I had my safe place. This is plausible. This is a future you can have. It was almost like I was peeking into the future and I didn't know it at the time, but it gave me hope. It gave me a sense of mm. hope that I could build a life that looked like that. The Sims is almost like a utopia of what I hope our world eventually mm. becomes. As I got more comfortable with my character in the game, <laughs> I got more comfortable with myself. I play to build me. Oh, put yourself in there. I play there. to express myself. I play to make a difference. Mm -hmm. I play to feel good about myself. I play to have confidence. Have fun. To have me to time. To fuel my creativity. It's more than just mm. a game. It's creating your life. Eh. That's a way of, that's a good, it's a good, well, sure, it's one way of looking at it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can find that in Sims, that's nice. Just to be playing through Sims. As you Sims. just saw, there are so many reasons why I am proud to be part of the Sims global community. We want the Sims to be a place of unity and hope. A place where you can be your authentic self and build your vision for our shared world. A place to imagine what's possible. To our Simmers, thank you for everything you've done to make your communities virtual and real a better place. Now, mm. I know some of you tuned in hoping for some Sims news and we'll have plenty to share as the summer goes Ooh, on. There you we go. do have one announcement for you. Oh? We'll be welcoming players on a whole new platform as The Sims 4 arrives on Steam today. Take a look. Oh, man, what's up with everything going to Steam right now? I need to play. Mm. Maybe I will play some Sims. On Stew. Uh. Huh. I don't know, I never really played Sims. I mean, I could. Huh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like, I've seen a lot of it. I've never actually played it. Sims. Every power. What the? No. Nah. style. Huh. Ah. creature. Oh, jeez. Ah. Wow, that's funny. Look at that. No. Nah, what? <laughs> that's pretty mean. That's funny. There you go, haunted. Hey everyone, Alex here from the social team, and joining me today from the community now. team is Freeman. Hey folks, yes, we're here to tell Hello, you Freeman. that it's not just The Sims 4 arriving on Steam today. Five more great EA games, including Titanfall 2, A Way Out, and Dead Space 3, are all playable right this second. And when EA Access arrives on Steam this fall, you can get all those great titles and a ton more with your membership. You can also expect to see our new releases on Steam too. One of the first arrived just a short while ago with full mod support via Steamworks. The critics love it, and we know you will too. This is Command & Conquer Remastered. Hmm. One of the greatest spells oh, uh, so was ever made. Command & Conquer. Ooh. What the? What arts guys do? Uh, real-time strategy. Not an arts action real-time strategy. Oh, yeah. One's action, one's just real time. Seven hours? Oh. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. Welcome back, Commander. Hmm. Commander Cogger. Oh, it's still an orange isn't the only platform getting some love. We'll be bringing games to more platforms. Looks like they're working with Steam again, Valve again. Coming to Switch in the next 12 months. Well, they've been trying to put Final everything Paradise, on Origin. Now it's both Steam and Origin. Later this year. And That's what they're doing again now. Many of your Looks like it. Too, starting with Need for Speed Heat and continuing with some new titles being revealed later in the show. It's mm. all about giving you the freedom to play what you want, where mm. you want, and with who you want. 
It's about playing together. Absolutely. Now, let's reveal some more games. Over to you, Greg. All right. Let's see that. Quick reminder to keep an eye out for those special golden letters hidden throughout the show. They could appear huh. anywhere, and I mean anywhere. There's an A. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> Write the letters down as they appear, and once you've got the full code, you'll be able to enter for a chance to win one of more than a dozen great games on Steam. Hmm. So stay tuned and find out where to enter the code at the end of the show. We're gonna try now, and if you do that, my Lulu. content at all, then you know there's nothing I love more than buffalo wings and discovering inventive new games. Well, I don't have any buffalo wings, but I do have something just as tasty. Over the past couple of years, EA has partnered with the amazing studios like Hayes Light and Zoink to give us such creative titles as A Way Out in Fay. Here to explain how they do it are a few of the talented developers working on the next wave of EA Originals. It's gonna move that. I don't know, I was just so wanted to try to do something. I'm gonna try and do that. Those are, I just put in the number A. So that we can try unconventional approaches to solving new ideas. There are times where you've got to like break past your own sort of mental blocks. I'm gonna try and do that. Code thing. We get to do the game we want to do. Nothing. And I mean nothing. Ah, it does this. Yeah. Buffering again. What? We wanted uh, space for our studio's creativity to flow free. So, so that we could try unconventional approaches to solving new ideas. There are times where you've got to like break past your own sort of mental blocks. Even if that meant building a whole new kind of game engine. We get to do the game we want to do. Nothing. And I mean nothing uh, comes into the game if it doesn't follow the vision. There he is. Hello, Jeff right Keighley. It's back. Than we first imagined. What the hell? Let's find out. Uh oh. That's so it's likely to do that. Da 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 da. That's <laughs> original. Yeah. What the hell? Tuh. And now for a deeper dive into what these developers are working on, we turn our spotlight on three studios. Oh, P. There's a P in the background. Mild mannered. A. P. Joseph Ferris. Hmm. Oh. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Let's do it. Nice. Please welcome Joseph Ferris. Hey, there he is. Nah, that's him. They go in the corner, it's like pulling it out. Doom Awards. Ah, Jeff Haley. That's funny. The way out. Can you swear here? So infinite. The Oscars, you know? Oh! What the heck? That's funny. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I can't help it, man. I was born in Beirut, 1977. I lived there 10 years. There was civil war, and there was a lot of uh, bad stuff happening there. Mm. We tried to move five times wow. to Sweden. The fifth time they let us in, uh, and that's lucky for Sweden because I've given Sweden a lot, you know. <laughs> Well, my third movie, Zozo, is basically else. about my life when I came to Sweden mm. when I was young. I've done five picture movies and now I've done three games. And it's way hard to make a game. It's almost mm. like the audience have control of the pacing of the story while the movies is being paced for you. In video games, there's so much to be explored from a storytelling perspective because of the interactivity. There are some studios out there that are making games that have good stories, but they pretty much have one mechanic they like reuse all the time. The designers and the story writers are, are kind of like doing two different games. That's why I mm. founded His Light, to keep pushing the boundaries where it's possible in games. That's what game number three from His Light is all about. And action. The new game, Takes two. Takes two, is a core huh. action-adventure platformer that will blow your f***ing mind away. No. The story starts out with a small family. Cody, May, that's the parents, and then Rose, the little daughter. So Cody and May are about to separate. Rose doesn't want them to divorce. So she creates two dolls out of wood and clay, and these dolls magically come alive, and you actually no. controls both Cody and May. And you could say you're almost controlling their emotions. You're all, all, almost playing their emotions. Huh. There's Funny. even levels where we're actually making a mechanic for their emotions. So again, marrying the story and the mechanics. And I think for the players, that's going to feel very new, different and unique. They haven't played anything like this before. It Takes Two is a crazy roller coaster ride that 
doesn't really have an ending. It has an ending, but th that ending is that the roller coaster crashes and you fly into the sky and get up into mm. space. And when you're in space, you're like, yeah. what the f am I doing up here? And then huh? maybe you get back to, to Earth again. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it, it takes two, actually. This game has so much variety to its gameplay. Uh, mm. wow, that, was, that was the best mm. way to describe it all right joseph we love you so much thank you there's an l in the background the see the l uh, of course ladies and gentlemen let's keep this original L. and let's stay in sweden of course i'm a fan of both their delicious red gummy fish and their video games so ladies and gentlemen please welcome put those letters in fl games trying to enter in those letters in the background welcome to gothenburg and well my home. Unfortunately, Ooh. I didn't bring you any cool. fish, but we do have some exciting news for you Ooh. about our latest game. At Soink, we've always been driven by love of rich visual storytelling and creating strange worlds that people can escape to. The mm. weirder, the better. And I think uh, my friend Olaf would agree. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. And for our next game, though, we wanted to try something a little yeah. darker, something out of a gothic fairy tale. Oh. Started with the mood and some paintings, grew into oh. this eerie, strange world that feels like something out of a beautiful, twisted dream. And that's the world of Random. Lost and Random is the story of Even, a little girl with a big heart and an even bigger temper. After a horrible event that changes mm. her life, she embarks on a dangerous journey through the world of Random. But fortunately, she's not alone. Just like I have Olaf, Even also has a crazy little mm. weird friend thing with her. Along her journey, Even discovers Dicey, a playful, loyal, almost puppy-like dice companion that gives her the power uh, to really change Dicey. things in the Kingdom of Random. Despite the name, Dicey. in this world, randomness is weird, and the dark oh. force controls every aspect of life, from That's where sad. you live, to how you act, or what your uh -huh. favorite color is. It's a coming-of-age story, set against the backdrop uh. of a mysterious world, but it holds a modern message that's really relevant to our world right now. I think we can all relate to the desire to try and control the chaos around us. With Dicey's help though, Even learns the power in doing just the opposite. Embrace the randomness, accept the uncertainties in life, and you'll be surprised how far it takes you. Imagine if you could change the course of life with a roll of a dice. What would you do? Play it safe or trust in yourself and take a chance? We can't wait for you to play and find out. Ah, take a chance! A long way to launch, <laughs> but we hope you will join Even and Funny. Dicey on their journey next year. Until then, please enjoy this first look at <laughs> Lost in Random. <laughs> excuse me. Random. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dang it, excuse me. Why did I start sneezing there? Something about dice. Forgot the name of the title, what they just said there. Oops. Bends with the roll of one dice. Ooh. A dice that is ruled this kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> Good Generations. Transforming the fates. Of Transforming the fates of people just like but you. What if I told you? What if I told there you? Is there was another dice. There was another dice. To change everything. A power to now, change everything. It's your turn to roll. To Ooh. play the odds. And break the curse of random. <laughs> ah! This is creepy. Whoa. You can't have this sweet. It's like Nightmare for no, Christmas. Or Tim Burton. It's... Oh, no, wait, it's Tim. No, Dicey. They should be scared of us. Right? <laughs> huh? Okay. <laughs> that was funny. Lost in fandom. Hold on, is Tim Burton working on that really with cool. them or something? Hey, there's an A in the background. An A. Put the, like put the A down. A P L A. That's what I got, got so far. A P L A. Dicey. Dicey. I need to actually check out Dicey. It looks like something Tim Burton was working on. Clay animation. Industry veterans have worked on incredible multiplayer franchises. We are passionately focused on huh. making great multiplayer games. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm incredibly excited to announce that we have partnered with the talented team at EA to release our first ever title, oh. Rocket Arena. Rocket Arena. As you'll see, we stay loyal to the oh, name right. of the game. Nice. It's a rockets only shooter that allows players to get into the action quickly and stay in the fight. 
What? We want a Rocket Arena Woo. to be an awesome, competitive experience to play with friends. Shoot rockets. I love what we've got in store Everyone here. shoots rockets. Here is the all new trailer huh. of Rocket Arena. What? Enjoy. Okay. Everyone shoots rockets. Rockets away. Let's kick this into gear. The trophy will soon be mine. No. Ah! What the heck? Does everyone have their own like unique Ever rocket? Wondered why life is so good on Crater? Sure, we've got the beautiful beaches. Oh, snuff. Quality public transportation. <laughs> ah. And exotic destinations. Another victory. Nah. The people are courteous and friendly. Don't really? And uh, always happy to help their fellow citizens. Are you leaving already? But the Doesn't... real reason life is so good. Doesn't seem like it. We've got rockets. Oh, you must be crazy to say all that stuff. You look like you're blowing each other up. I don't know. How can you be friendly if you're blowing each other up? What the heck? Hey, dude, how's it going? Boom, I got you. Ha <laughs> ha, shot a rocket at you. What the heck? That's what that sounds like. Crazy. <laughs> 3D3 action. Oh. Woo. Wow, look at that. <laughs> ah. Signature villages. No, uh oh, water. Oh no, water. What was that? Don't say combos. What? Oh, welcome to the world, sis. Ooh. Oh, oh. Ah, look at that. Uh oh. Ooh. That looks like fun. I'm gonna check that out. So as you just saw, rockets are obviously awesome to blast off. Well, it's just a trailer, but yeah. But in order to come out on top, there's a I lot don't know, to master. not entirely. I guess that was good play footage and trailer. To blast opponents out of the arena, and trailer. And an arsenal of evasive moves. Rocket jump, rocket climb, and dodge to avoid getting knocked out yourself. Yeah. Don't worry though, you're never out of the action for long. Even when you're out, you'll fly right back into the fray. You'll also be able to really customize your own unique look and play style. Each of the 10 heroes available at launch have their own rocket powered abilities. Yeah. And as you play, you'll discover items that allow you to further refine each of your hero's play styles. Feels like it's inspired. has a hundred levels of progression that unlock new cosmetics ah. and rewards. That's All nice. That and much more when Rocket Arena arrives on July 14th. July 14th, all right. And there's plenty more content to come in our first season which begins just two weeks after launch on July huh. 28th and brings oh. with it a blast pass and a ton of free content, including new maps, in-game events, and a new playable character. Rocket Arena is a game meant to be played with friends, regardless of platform. Mm -hmm. That's why we're thrilled nice. to announce crossplay support. God, I love crossplay. Everyone's getting on it so now. Grab your friends, regardless of their platform, and get ready to blast Seems off like with Rocket Arena on July 14th on PlayStation, Xbox, Origin, and Steam. And we'll be sharing more gameplay right after the show with the help of some great content creators. No Nintendo Check Switch? Us out on YouTube Aww. at the link below. No See Nintendo Switch. All right. Wow, that looks great. And hopefully you've all why? the track of There's the why. hidden throughout the show and nearly cracked the code. Here's a hint. It's not Kanye. Keep an eye on a couple of letters, and then at the end of the show, we'll reveal where you need it's to go. It's a play so far. A play. A P L A Y. A play. Warfare. We head to a different kind of battle. The real play. reason I didn't get any sleep last night, and if you thought you heard sleigh bells, that's because it might as well be Christmas in June. It's finally time to talk Star Wars Squadrons. Now, okay, I promise All you, right. we are going to get a first look at some brand new gameplay in just a moment. But first. For anyone who doesn't fully grasp why I'm so excited, earlier this week, no. EA and Lucasfilm dropped a trailer that literally gave me all the feels, chills, joy, excitement, and then more chills on top of that. Take a look. Ah, okay. Let's see it then. Ah. Ooh. Right. Dog fights. Look at two minutes. Perfect shot. Makes 
You just dropped a bomb, that's all. Then actually suicide bomb into it. One squadron. The galaxy's finest. That was like Nah. <laughs> they just showed again. Pilots wanted. Hopefully, I didn't see that earlier until wow. now. The eight-year-old and all of us celebrating and excited. The 37-year-old man on this couch is excited. Ladies and ah. gentlemen, for the second year in a row, I have the honor and privilege of helping introduce oh, a new Star Wars title. And here, to put the hype in hyperdrive is none other than Motive's creative director, Ian Frazier. Hello, Ian. Hey, Greg, how you doing? Oh. I'm great, how are you? Doing good, happy to actually get to show this to people. I bet. Now, uh, in my copious notes I have, I'm, I'm told you are I'm quite the Star Wars fan the have been a long time. How long have you liked Star Wars? I've been a Star Wars fan for pretty much my whole life. I don't even remember the first time I saw the movies. And as a mm. kid, there was a lot of different parts of Star Wars I loved. One of them was being a pilot, that idea of climbing into an X-Wing or a TIE fighter. So, you know, I played all the flight games in the 90s, and I got pretty obsessive about them. I'd pause, meticulously draw the insides of the cockpits and stuff. And actually, I dug up some of those drawings from my parents' attic over the holidays. We're showing them right now to the world. This strikes me as above and beyond the normal level of Star Wars fandom. Uh, huh. I think at Motive, you'll find that quite a few people have that level of Star Wars fandom. Uh, when we started this project, I talked to a lot of people as they joined the team, and a lot of them had similar kinds of stories of things they'd done as kids. One of them even built a functional cockpit in his garage. Wow, <laughs> that's, a, that's fandom on another level. How do you guys go from being a fan, drawing what you see in the game, or building a cockpit in your garage, to actually making this game? Well, I think that fandom, just love of Star Wars, has provided a really good foundation for us. But on top of that, of course, the team at Motive got a lot of experience working with Star Wars when they worked on Battlefront 2. And when Battlefront 2 wrapped up, there was a really small group of us that were really into, particularly, the pilot experience within Star Wars. And we wanted to make something new, something that really went all in on that part of the fantasy. And so we, we did kind of a grassroots initiative, or started a little passion project, and that ramped up into eventually what is the game we're going to show you today. You talk about, you know, your passion for this, your nostalgia for Star Wars flight games of the past. How do you honor that but make something brand new? It's been interesting. You know, we, we're trying to kind of pull from that spiritual heritage of many different games in that time period. Um, at the same time, we want to do something that feels fresh and new for fans today. And so what we've tried to look at is sort mm. of the spiritual core of what I think are the best of the Star Wars flight games of the past. And what they did that I love is that they made that part of the universe real. The level of depth huh. and detail that they show in the ships, the, the way that you control them, is something that I remember fondly from my childhood and is something that we're trying to do very much with squadrons. You know, in real life, Almost being a pilot is, is hard. It takes skill. And yeah. that's something that you'll see throughout the game. You know, as you start off playing, it's pretty straightforward, fly around, shoot your lasers. But as you get deeper into it, you start mm -hmm. learning how to divert energy from your lasers to your, to your engines, how to shift your shields from the front to the back to cover your butt in a dogfight. Uh, or at the oh. higher level of the shield, you can do really crazy stuff. Like you can boost your engines, fly ahead, cut them off, whip around 180 and shoot a missile off your own tail while drifting backwards. Like Can't really help but feel like it reminds you of Star Fox. I want to do that. Star Wars sometimes reminds me of Star Fox. I yeah, and vice versa. How to play it. Is there a single player story? Star Fox. Is there a Star Fox mode? What are we getting into? Or Star it's Wars. Some of both. The whole so the game starts dog with fighting a brand new single in the air with those planes. After Return of the Jedi. And it has kind of a, a unique dual perspective approach to it. So when the game starts, you're going to create two pilots. Maybe Vio Moto was inspired by Star Wars pilots. to create Star Fox. Maybe. I don't really know that. But. For sure, but hey, they're the similar to each other. Now, Not really, but yeah, and you play the I know. In the practice range, you say, hey, I want to try some ways. We want to make it really easy for you to hop online with your friends and play competitive space battles. Maybe battles. like 20% so similar to each other. We've done a lot other. to try to reduce the barriers to make it easy as possible for you to play with your friends. And so I'm happy to say we fully support cross-play. You could be on PS4, yeah. Xbox One, uh, PC. Yes. You could be playing on a traditional More cross play or in VR. Which, Love it. Fun fact, the entire game supports VR from beginning to end. It's pretty cool. But regardless of how you're playing, which platform, they can all play together. Just look mm -hmm. up with your friend, connect, have an awesome space. Awesome. Play. 
you just death starred my mind, man. Like, I don't, that's awesome. That is, uh, the big question, uh, when can people actually play it? Ah, uh, not too long, actually. Uh, Star Wars Squadrons is coming out on October 2nd. Doesn't seem like, okay. it okay, almost seems like console exclusives won't really happen so much anymore. You didn't actually deliver it, I appreciate oh, that. Even that. The next big ask true. I have, yeah. on behalf of everybody watching, I'm sure, who came here for one specific reason, can we see some new gameplay of it? Can we see any gameplay of it? Absolutely. I, I kind of figured you might want to. Yeah. On behalf of everyone well, in Motive, what's your feeling, I am very yeah. happy to show you the world's first look at gameplay of Star Wars Squadrons. Enjoy. All right. Let's see it. Yeah, let's, let's all clap. I clap, you clap. It's funny. Ooh, here we go. Let's see some gameplay. All right. Class session, inception. He's clapping, I'm clapping. Uh. Let's make history. Uh oh. This is it, Titan Squadron. Everything we've done has led to this. Finish those bad guards, scum. Uh oh. Ah. This is Star Wars Squadron. Earn your wings in a single-player story spanning two factions. All stations. Single-player. What? What happened? Multiplayer. As a squadron of five. Oh? With the option to play the entire game in VR. This oh. is the definitive Star Wars pilot experience. Huh? Come on, come on. I thought there would be multiplayer. You'll begin your career in a single player story. Okay. Welcome to Titan Squadron. Where you'll play as two combat pilots. Flying for both the Empire and the New Republic. Huh. Okay. You'll experience this world through your cockpit. The instrumentation in front of you provides critical feedback about power management, targeting, and shields. With a squadron of diverse characters at your side, prove your skills on increasingly challenging missions. Oh. All right. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyard. One of my spies has linked the attacks with the New Republic Starhawk project. The story of the two pilots you play stick together will shape the balance of power in the galaxy. Get ready. Let him have it. Uh. To take the fight online, you'll need flight time with all eight ships. Fighters are the most flexible and versatile, able to handle any uh. situation. Yeah. Interceptors are fast and highly maneuverable. Let's get them. Ideal for hunting down your opponent's starfighters. That was kind of fun. Support ships can keep allies safe and stocked up, as well as disrupting enemy fighters. Light them up. Uh. Nice. Bombers are the heavy hitters, able to deal devastating damage to enemy flagships and starfighters. But if you've got a preferred component and need something customized, I'll take care of you. Unlock everything you need to customize your pilot and starfighters simply by playing the game. From cosmetics to an arsenal of over 50 components that alter how your ships fly, fight, and survive. They're on you! I'll deal with it. You can dramatically change your loadout depending on your squadron's strategy. Finally got him. This will be ah. critical in Star Wars Squadron's multiplayer mode. Hey, there you go. There's the multiplayer Star mode. Fights. I thought they were going to have multiplayer. Of course they are. How can you do this without multiplayer, you know? Fine tune your loadouts to work as a team. Moving in on the enemy. Utilize components like tractor beams, turrets, and mines. Damn. To slow down your opponents or set up your squad mates for the kill. Rebels unlocked. Uh, teams looking for an even greater challenge. Star Fox is in third person, while this is in first person. I don't like comparing the two because they all both have dogfights. Whether playing solo or with friends, you'll have the option to compete against other players or AI as a squadron of five. Hmm. Don't worry, I got him for you. Meet your team in the social hub to solidify strategy, coordinate loadouts, and prepare yeah. for takeoff. It's pretty cool. First, Let's go. push the front line by winning the dogfight in the center of the map. Next, 
lost. Huh. Attack or defend two medium sized capital ships. We've lost our capital ship. And finally, the ultimate goal target and destroy the subsystems of your opponent's massive flagship and take it down. Oh. At each phase, After the flag. squadron either pushes the line forward or falls back to defend. Keep our flagship safe. It's your squadron's choice of how to play. Oh. Speedy, unrelenting assaults. Stay together, strike quickly. Stealth and subversion. Jamming the enemy. Sensors can't spot you. Or brutal bombardment. This step is vulnerable. Take your shot. We need to hurry. A unified squadron is the key to victory. Making my attack run now. Let's make it count. Oh. This is Star Wars Squadron. Oh. Join the galaxy's finest and make your mark. I want wanted this galaxy. Huh. Ah. Yeah, like... <laughs> Silence one in October second. Star Wars Squadrons. First gameplay. What do you guys think? That's pretty cool. Chat. Well, in his chat. It's funny. Coaster and coaster. Coaster within a coaster. I'm excited to be a part of the EA Sports family. And to be you guys' new man cover athlete. I can't wait to show you guys what we have in store for you this season. This is EA Sports. Next level. Okay. You feel it all. Can you feel that burst of speed? It's like I'm lightning. In that moment, I'm untouchable. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of anything. Not afraid to get hit or get hit. This game is the one true love. Makes it feel like somebody. I never thought I could rise to another way. It's just me and the keeper. My heart is mm. like Oh uh. go and you're a hero. And history carves your name. You know what it sounds like? Sixty thousand people singing your song. Okay. Like no. Sports. Feel it in hands. Oh, buffering. It's buffering, but who's not? Oh, you gotta play. I want the real thing. Oh, who's watching this on Twitch himself? Yeah, he is. Jeff Kaylee's watching this on Twitch. I could have been watching on Twitch. I want to live in the floodlights. I want to feel it all. EA Sports in the game. It is, in, it is like Inception Haunted. Yeah, it is like it, next level sports. Now, that's a lot to look forward to. But there's more. Here to tell us about the future of gaming is EA's Chief Studio Officer, Laura Miele. Thanks, Greg, and thanks, Lamar. Welcome to the EA Sports family. Okay. There are great things to come from EA Sports for all of you, and that's just the beginning. As you've seen throughout the show today, our electronic artists are working hard to bring you more of the games that you want to play. Games like Star Wars Squadrons, Apex Legends, and Command and Conquer. These games all exist because of you. Your voices are heard and we are acting on your feedback. Now we've talked a lot about all the exciting games you'll be playing this year, but our studios are working even further out, creating new experiences, new stories, new gameplay, all enabled by new console technology. And we're so excited about what's to come, we don't want to wait until next year to share what the teams are well, working on. Ticks, excuse me, I'm going to ticks. Generation uh, shifts yeah. are an opportunity to push beyond the boundaries of gaming as we know it today. And this time is no different. Our studios are taking their crazy ambitious ideas and making them real. Mm. Criterion is known for how their games feel. Oh. From superior physics to nuanced details of oh. gameplay, 
This team hand curates the moment-to-moment -moment experience. And with the new consoles this year, there will be a seamless immersion which will get you the race in a matter of seconds. Oh, yeah, I did it a little time. Imagines and creates worlds where you become so the hero of your own story. And we're using this next generation of technology to make those fantasy worlds mm -hmm. your reality. What is that? For every console generation, DICE sets the bar for excellence in audio and visual presentation. We are creating epic battles at a scale and fidelity unlike anything you've experienced before. At Motive, we are working on a highly ambitious and innovative new game that puts the power and creativity in your hands. And it's an experience that would have been impossible without next-gen technology. This is just the beginning of the things we are working on, and there is so much more to come. Mm -hmm. The future of EA Studios is not just about new technology. It's about you, your voices, your ideas. We want to be where you come to play. We want to make games for everyone. So please keep giving us your feedback and let's build the future together. On behalf of all of our studios, thank you for joining us today. Mm. But before we sign off, uh -huh. there's just one more game Ooh, we'd love to share. Okay. Cousin Darren, over to you. Mm, what is it? Thank you. Uh, so the moment is here. Oh, so cool. we finally get to say, we're back. We're doing it. Skate's happening. We're rolling. Huh. We secretly got together. It's the beginning. The skate evolution continues. Mm. Uh, well, friend. Honestly, to to make the right game at the right time with the right idea, and uh, really, really pleased to say that we're here. It is really early, but but we're stoked, and this is just the beginning. We, we really ah oh dang who when a stuff like oh, that who when it happens? Yeah, come on, Jeff Keely sit there. My gosh, this is weird. Oh no, really? Where's the news? Oh man, what? oops. Well, oh, this is bizarre. It's a stream within side of stream. I wasn't trying to coast you. Me. I can't believe it. Before we go, uh, oh, because I love you, man. Guys, here are the last that sucks. Of the code. I hate when that happens. You you've got the complete code. Burn. Go to player. Gg slash ea and enter man. for a chance to win one of thousands of free games sponsored by player. Gg. You can find the official rules and everything else over at player. Gg slash ea. Now, this has been an, an amazing experience, an amazing opportunity for all of us all over the world to that come together sucks. and celebrate Happening. gaming. Thank you for being part of EA Dude, Play. Until the, next time, I'll see you online, John, and it's been know, my pleasure to serve you. What was that? Oh, I heard something there. There you go. EA Play Skate is back. Too <laughs> bad. Uh, it takes legends. Two for twenty one. Takes two. Hog Command and Conquer. Then the Star Wars Squadrons. Nice. Lots of dice. Apparently, I'm saying this, but I actually feel like I've looked forward to a lot of the games here for EA. Not kidding. Can't believe I'm even saying that. All on Steam now. I guess they're coming back to Steam. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, play live. Welcome back to Steam. Yeah, thanks for watching. You're welcome. That was weird. Right, there you go. A co-stream within yeah, a co-stream. Apparently, wasn't trying to do it play. like this. Big news. Skate mm -hmm. back. They're making a new skate. Yeah. Internet. About to explode. Uh, so that's big news. Funny. Uh, other big yeah. news. So the first gameplay of Star Wars Squadrons would look pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I want to see kind of just like a full-on mission to see how that plays, but uh, the effects and everything look pretty yeah. cool. And that nice to have a Star Wars flight game. Uh, mm -hmm. so that was I've played some in the past. Play reveal, I guess, in there, and then Laura Mielli from EA. Not much, uh, I guess. Upcoming games look like we got a little bit of a tease of, I guess, what would probably be Need for Speed. Um, need for Speed, yeah. Dice. 
and then mm -hmm. like Dragon Age stuff from uh, Bioware. Very limited, like literally kind of just like shots. I haven't seen Dragon Age. You know, cer certain games and no okay. details on those, but yeah. looks like those are all in development for next gen. Um, mm -hmm. And then EA Originals, Joseph Ferris showed uh, right. a little teaser. It Takes Two. Uh, I saw that game last summer in Stockholm. I was with Joseph uh, checking huh. it out, and it is just insane what he's doing with that huh. game. Um, there's so much variety to the gameplay, and it was a ton of fun, and it's it's a year ago I saw it. So, it's uh, funny doing a reaction uh, within a reaction. That, that was unintentional, uh, well, which is really cool. to be honest. So, uh, wasn't trying to do not that. Not necessarily tons of new game announcements from EA, although the intention of working on Skate, it was really more of a hmm. project announcement, I guess, um, versus uh, seeing demo it. But the fact that Skate 4 is back, uh, I agree that everyone will be very happy Sucks. now that... Uh, EA's back to skate, and that's really cool. It definitely felt like kind of a mm -hmm. yeah. EA introducing the next generation of what they're doing. So we're gonna skate, Need for Speed, Dragon mm -hmm. Age, Battlefield, um, and then I'm that's all 2020 Dragon Age, beyond. but okay. Like this year is very much about um, Star Wars Squadrons that'll be coming out in October from them. So that was uh, all things EA Play. Uh, what mm -hmm. did you guys think? I'll put yes. a poll on Twitter and you can... Uh, I thought it was pretty lit. Really, I'm looking forward to a lot of stuff in there. I'm not kidding. I'm pop that up now. usually don't so really feel that way with a lot of games. I can't believe I'm um, even I saying was, that about EA, was, though, to be honest. Solid show from EA. But, yeah. Um, you know, it's always tough to figure out kind of how much do you do talking. It was a pretty good show. Gameplay. Um, you know, with Star Wars Squadrons, I was like, I just want to see the gameplay. I want to see the game. <laughs> right, um, yeah. I show some of it, right. which is good. Um, it should so. So that was what EA fights. has in store for us. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the yeah. stream. Uh, we will be back. Um, the co stream Monday, within the co stream. stream I was not on purpose. It wasn't intentional. <laughs> Funny, big though. Big and exciting, I think. Inception. Um, for fans of games. <laughs> and uh, Funny. a special... Uh, guest correspondent that I'll be talking more about in the coming days, but I'm excited about that. And then we've got Cyberpunk's Night City Wire next week uh, as Ooh, well. Marvel's right. Avengers War Table, so two specific uh, game streams coming up, uh, and then also uh, a bunch of stuff in July. So Summer Game mm -hmm. Fest continues. Head to summergamefest.com to sign up for notifications and add the calendar. Uh, I've already been doing that. On social media at Summer Game Fest yeah. on Twitter if you want updates on events. Um, but that's that, guys. Thanks for thanks for tuning in. You're um, welcome, Zach Kaylee. We will have more thanks for showcasing the stuff. And, uh, Summer Game Fest just keeps rolling on. Well, thanks, thanks for, for having the guys, Summer Games uh, Fest. You're welcome. Sorry about the tech on the co-stream there, where we're skated almost that, cut out. But that sucks. News. Skate Can't is back. That happened, uh, stay tuned, and we will yeah. uh, have more for you soon. Have All right. Bye, bye, Zach Kaylee. Thank you for providing the Summer Game Fest thing. Despite you three not being around this year. Oh, there you had it. That's a lot of reactions true over your gameplay. With the Summer Games Fest, which was hosted by Jeff Keely. Alright, yeah. What's out of that? So that was a gameplay. Summer Games Fest. Hosted by Jeff Keely. Yeah, it even says here. Well, I don't know where I saw it. Like, honestly, I can't believe it happened like that. What the heck? That is so weird. That, that was like inception. What? Uh, I was like, uh oh. Wait, what? That was not intentional. I wasn't trying to stream someone else's reaction. Well, I'm just my own reaction to gameplay. That's kind of funny. That is like inception, what Haunted said. Well, funny how that happened. It's like, ah, oh, what the heck, it's okay. You can see my reaction and then go also can see Jeff Kaylee's reaction, so it was that. Uh, that is funny. Uh, I've never done that before. Well, that was like unintentional, but yeah. I mean, Summer Games Fest is the only, this is literally the only location I can find that, where I can see all this stuff. I mean, thanks to Jeff Kaylee himself, of course. For hosting this thing because there's like i said there's no e3 in the year 2020 there's no e3 2020 since summer games fest is alternative uh, since it's hard enough to keep up with what events there are because there's no e3 like i didn't see the microsoft one which happened in may but i didn't know about it until later on like oh that happened in may didn't even know about it or see it how is i supposed to be aware of these events when there's no e3 that's the hard part that's why there's a summer goo fest which is nice so yeah 
That was good. Look at those new. So, yeah. All right. That's it for this live reaction stream. I'm checking out you play with Jeff Kaley apparently. Funny. Look how that happened. A little costume within a costume. Inception. It's a reaction within a reaction. Oh, I wasn't trying to do that intentionally or anything. I wasn't trying to do it in third. I didn't know what to expect. I just wanted to, like I said, I just wanted to see you play, or I just wanted to see things fine. And the only place I could find it was through Summer Goons Fest. Of course, I couldn't watch it just from Twitch, but hey, it's easier to find all this stuff all together because these got it all covered here. So, again, thanks for that. Jeff Kaley is a journalist who hosts Goon Awards, of course. So, anyways, yeah, that was that. That's it for Summer Goon Fest. Probably the next time we'll be checking out. Right. Those are developer showcase June 22nd. Two of our. I guess, yeah, he mentioned that apparently. Or these two Avengers and the. He mentioned all that in there, right? I saw these. And, well, these down here. That's until like next week, of course. So, yeah, it's already going fast. Alright. That was it. That was me playing live react live does my live reaction to you play. So Yeah. Alright. I'll end this off like I always normally do. So, so. You guys wanna see more from me, like we do more like live reaction streams or reaction videos or you wanna see more of what I do and such. Or when I go live again so you can follow me on my social media. Like that just appeared in front of a face here. Follow my Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. If you want to see what I may do next, or you want to keep up with what I may do next, it's all up to you. If none of you have done that, or if some of you already have, then right, thanks. Now you're aware, but, but yeah, I just throw that out there. If any of you guys are interested, so, if any of you haven't done it yet, but yeah, all right. So, yep, that's it for this. Hold on, let me try to do it this way. I'm not gonna move it, I'm just gonna do it like that. There we go. See, I moved it without actually moving the webcam. So, alright. Yeah. That's it for this live reaction to everybody for EA Light. Thank you, Jeff Kaylee, for hosting that story. That's so odd how I did co stream with that co stream. I didn't realize co stream is the same thing as a, as a, re as, it's the same thing as a live reaction stream. It kind of is, but yeah, same thing. But, alright, so, yeah. Yep, so yeah, with that said, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> see you next time. It's like, it's like, yeah, see you next time. Bye! Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah! It's like, bye! See ya! Goodbye, everybody! I lose the webcam back. It's kind of weird having, like, uh, mo desktop monitor. Like a pure monitor sideways like this. That's why I adjust the webcam like that. It's fine, I'll just deal with it now. So, yep, see y'all later. See y'all next time for more of you to do all my live reactions. It's over this sort of test. Yep, bye bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. One of my live reaction streams over the Sword Games Fest, which is an alternate since there's no E3 2020 this year. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.